IVF was not the answer to my infertility and how mm, the only luck I had, I feel, was that I stumbled upon this book, Is Your um, Body Baby Friendly? And I had a few questions about the book and I realized I read it like almost seven, eight years ago. podcasting today with Sarah but my internet is down and so I'm having major first world problems anyway so I'm gonna do this now because I've been meaning to I did a post the other day about how IVF was not the answer to my infertility and how mm, the only luck I had I feel was that I stumbled upon this book is your um, body baby friendly and I had a few questions about the book and I realized I read it like almost seven, eight years ago and um, I didn't keep the book, I just like passed it on and I don't really remember much about it other than the fact that it was like, there is something wrong with you, figure it out and that's why I kind of went the route I did. I didn't just like get hung up on my unexplained infertility diagnosis so i was like right i'm gonna reorder this book so i can read it and they actually have an updated version from this year so that's super exciting so i'm gonna get the book i'm gonna dive into it and i am going to kind of with my knowledge that i have now um yeah share it with you so i'm super excited about that and yeah there's a few other comments about you know women dealing with thyroid issues um or polycystic ovaries or endometriosis and those issues not really being tackled and just like kind of thrown to the side you know those are all super connected to your um fertility so don't let anyone tell you that it's not and don't let anyone tell you that there's not things that you can do yourself to improve the situation. Remember, like I am all about being your own hero and you have to definitely just fight for what you want because unfortunately there's a lot of doctors who don't believe in this stuff. Um, you know, whether it's diet and nutrition helping you out or you know especially on the immune side i know i got laughed at like physically laughed at by an OBGYN after i had my first frozen embryo transfer which was my first pregnancy and then my first miscarriage um yeah i moved location so i was just like getting into like no new people and stuff and I was telling her about my journey and she just laughed and said you know that's not proven science and I think I've told you guys this before but I was like look bitch that is <laughs> I don't care if it's voodoo it's worked for me um, and I think now she might be like eating her words but definitely in 10 years time she's really gonna be eating her words and I just encourage anyone out there that's facing those kind of same negative you know it's not proven science it's not real just because they don't believe in it it doesn't mean that is not real right and you know today's like quackery science and discoveries are going to be tomorrow's norms so don't give up the fight if you truly believe that there is something more and that there's something in all of this just keep fighting for yourself and find you know doctors and practitioners that will fight with you because you definitely need that support so anyways that's me today i will see you guys soon have a beautiful day bye hello beautiful people i had to come on quickly and talk about that last message that i got sent it's just so heartbreaking and it's just crazy that um we feel so stuck with that one particular doctor and I get it you know if you have there or um, that's the only place you can go for your insurance or even if you just don't have enough energy to find a new clinic um, 
I the discussion I had with her is that she is getting treatment the same stuff I got so the steroids and the interlipid which you would have to have a doctor to um, prescribe those things so she is seeing a doctor it's not something she's going and doing by herself with um, I do not recommend anyone trying with medication um, themselves to lower NK cells because especially the steroids, but the steroids are just fucked up, and, um, yeah, it's just crazy, it's crazy that we still, I guess we'll always be like this, it's just new medical advances, and it just takes a long time for them to become the norm, and, yeah, I feel for you girls, because, yeah, like I've said, I was laughed at and told it wasn't real either, but it's a real thing, and like if you don't have the means or you're not with a doctor who will give you the medication you know there's diet and lifestyle i'm living proof that it works um a while and you might have to you know really do some hard work to figure out exactly what's going on but um yeah that's just another avenue to go down to and Hello beautiful people, I am back and I have been reading this book. I told you I was going to get, this is the book I picked up seven or eight years ago when we had, after like three and a half years, we had a failed IVF and no one was giving me any answers and they were just saying, oh, it's just one of those things. So this book was, I don't know, stumbled upon, I must have found it on Amazon. Mm -hmm.